It is Friday and I am back in the office. I was representing that client this morning in Huntington County, New Jersey. Uh, we were doing a pretrial conference there in Huntington County and looking forward to representing that client at trial in that case. It's a fairly serious drug distribution case, but I believe that we have some very strong pre-trial motions and if the case must go to trial, I also think that we have a very strong trial argument with regards to the state's inability to establish constructive possession against our client. With that said, it is the weekend and we know that the weekends are often the busiest time for our law firm. That's why we make ourselves available 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the website gambonelaw.com. This week, I did come out with a lot of content on searches in the schools. Uh, it is back to school for a lot of uh, students throughout the country. I know a lot of colleges have already gone back. Students here in New Jersey and Pennsylvania with regards to the, to the high schools and the grammar schools, I don't believe are back, at least my kids aren't. Uh, but in a lot of parts of the country, uh, students are back and uh, they've already started school. So back to school was in a lot of parents' minds. You see back to school sales everywhere. My kids keep asking me when we're going to school supply shopping. I was never that enthusiastic about going to school supply shopping or going to school clothes shopping, but apparently my kids are looking forward to it. I guess it's a good thing. But uh, school searches are a big issue that we often have to explain to clients and their families. Over the years, we have represented a number of families and uh, younger people in uh, things that happened at school that later turned into juvenile and sometimes adult offenses. Uh, we represented clients for illegal drugs and narcotics, as well as some firearms cases in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, always serious cases. When, uh, when, when, whenever we're dealing with a minor situation, and I say minor, meaning the person's age as opposed to the minor issue, because anytime you're charged with a criminal offense as an adult, or as a juvenile, it is very serious, and especially as a young adult, um, something that could possibly follow you for the rest of your life. In those articles, I detail the difference between a search at school and a search outside of school. It's important to understand that school administrators are not government actors, even, as, if, even if it's a public school. So the expectation of privacy and the ability to search there's a lower evidentiary standard that those individuals have to meet. It is a reasonable suspicion standard as opposed to a probable cause standard, which is what law enforcement needs to conduct a search of an individual uh, in following a vehicle stop or a home stop. Now, obviously, the issue of search warrants is a separate issue, but just uh, off the top, probable cause is required for most search, but in school environment, Reasonable suspicion is all that is needed unless police are brought in. And then at that point, it becomes a government search. And that's where we go to the probable cause standard. So it's a very good articles that I put out. Uh, please take a look at them. I did put them out uh, in our free weekly update, which went to over 3,000 of our current and former clients in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. You can sign up at gambonelaw.com and be one of the 3,000 people that receive it every Friday. It is a great resource to have going into your weekend. So once again, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey. Please enjoy the weekend responsibly. If you are for suspicion of DUI or DWI in New Jersey, do not refuse that chemical test, whether it be a blood or breathalyzer test. It will never help your criminal case. Do not take your Pennsylvania gun into New Jersey. Remember, there's no reciprocity. New Jersey, the Garden State, has no reciprocity with any state, and it's almost impossible to have a permit to carry in, in, in New Jersey. I've done articles on that as well. Please check out the website, gambonewall.com, for that article. Great resource. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you all very soon.